Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about lead engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you think it's a recipe for disaster if you take a first job on a new team that has no senior or lead developers? It depends on for who. For you as the junior software developer, probably not. For the company, yeah, probably. That's probably not going to be good. Well, it depends on the sort of company you're dealing with, because this is unfortunately the thing that you have. You you are going to realize that really quick. Well, quick, uh, depending on your path through your career, you're going to realize that there are some legacy code factory companies in the world and legacy code factory seniors uh, because that's the thing that I like to tell people just because you add the title senior to your CV that doesn't mean that you're worth shit I promise you that's not true I've interviewed and worked with and so forth developers who have 20 years or more of experience and the average junior software developer is better than they are at this job so seniority means nothing is a title uh, that should indicate skill and experience uh, it just sets expectations and if you can't as I like to say you can set the expectations all you want but if you can't walk the walk no one in engineering is gonna believe you because engineers are very smart people usually and they the good ones they can hear when someone's bullshitting them the average person cannot, which is, uh, this is a very horrible, horrible, nasty thing that a lot of salespeople don't like about uh, the software developers and like the engineers and so forth, because uh, they don't fall for fluff talk. They want meat. They want substance. But, even though this might not be the best thing for the company in question, and, or maybe they just don't care because their business model is one where they're just like sh shuffling out legacy code and still finding customers who are, you know, they have more money than brains. Uh, it's still not a bad thing for you. Uh, I've said this many times that having a software team, just in general, or having co co-workers who can support you and so forth, is a very good thing. It doesn't have to be senior level software developers or lead developers. It's very good if they if you can find that because you mean it's always a good idea to have a mentor or someone who is more experienced than you to help you out to kind of show you what to look into, what you may not have thought about, or like what you should be careful with, etc., etc. I mean, it's the same thing with being a parent, basically being a mentor. You're just trying to guide your kids or your junior co-workers into the right direction uh, and any good senior software developer should be doing things like that in my opinion uh, but for you as the junior you don't have to work so you don't have to worry so much because any exposure you can get to real actual software development is going to be a benefit to you because even if you work in a company where you're working all with other junior co-workers you're probably I hope if you like your coworkers, go and enjoy your time a little bit. You're hopefully going to enjoy it. And incidentally, you're also going to get a lot of hands-on practice building actual things. And you're going to have to be forced to do that thing that we software developers do all day. Problem solve. And you don't have to... You, see, you might think that having a senior or a lead developer is like automatically going to give you all this quality knowledge that you might not get. But the reality, guys, is that the ratio of how much time, depending now... Uh, I can speak for my own, uh, for my own sake. Uh, in my current team, I'm the lead developer. And often I find myself so busy in meetings that I maybe I can give my uh, junior co-workers uh, maybe an hour or two at best per day tops of my time all the other time they spend them on their own working on stories and so forth so when we usually sit down together and we do pair programming or things like that if I'm lucky I can spend more time with them it's really only if they're stuck or if they have a question or something like that but most of the time they're on their own or like working with other like developers that uh, is not me or are not me uh, on different tasks and that's 
most of what you're going to spend your time on. At least 80-90% of your time is going to be spent just kind of doing your own coding or you know asking for code reviews or like things like that. And you can get that without having a senior lead developer or something like that in your team. So you don't have to worry that it's going to be a disaster for you because you're going to be able to gain some benefits from it. Long term it's a good idea for you to always have this idea of okay I'm gonna go in here because currently my you know in the for your first job the most important thing is that you just get your hands dirty get your hands dirty as quickly as possible take any job that seems seems sort of okay or it seems like something that's interesting and just get churning away because you need a little time to get you to settle in how to just do professional work and it doesn't really matter if you're doing high quality work quote unquote or if you're just hacking things together or something like that because you're still going to learn from the experience sooner or later i promise you you're going to do that for a little while and you're going to start to feel like yeah I sort of know this or it doesn't sit right with me anymore like I could do this for a while but it's sort of not my thing anymore I think we should work in a better way you're going to start feeling a little bit yeah no no not really and then it might be time to look for the next job where they might have senior co-workers or something more for you but you don't have to worry that you're like damaging your career or something like that just because you work in a team where there's like not a super senior software developer available. So what I want you to take away from this is that I wouldn't say that for the junior that it's a disaster to work in a team without a senior because at that stage in your career what's most important is to get your hands dirty just start working and do things get exposure for the company it's probably not going to be sustainable for long unless as I said they found a way to make money from legacy code and there are companies who who know how to do that because it really comes down to the complexities of the project and how dumb your customers are usually have a great day